Hello. Hello. In this video, I'll be explaining you explaining to you my project that I will be submitting for the Google Science Fair 2018. So my project is a virtual interpreter for deaf people. So it's going to be this these pair of glasses with an OLED display in front of it. So before I explain how it works, I'll show you the hardware. We have an Arduino Uno over here, a pair of glasses, cardboard, and 128 by 64 pixel monochrome OLED display. And other than that, we need this microphone over here, as well as the Arduino code running on the computer, as well as the Python code running on the computer. So now I'll explain how it works. So basically, this is how it works. Uh, on the computer, there is a Python program running, which will, using this microphone, listen for audio and in the audio it's going to look for a few keywords which it is it is going to detect and if it detects the keywords it's going to um, tell that to the arduino via the serial port which is over here and the arduino is then going to display a sign language image of that on the oled display over there so here are my codes all right so here is the python code which runs on the computer so first of all over here we import some libraries the speech recognition library the serial library for communicating with the serial port and the time library so we initialize the serial port ser1 equals serial dot serial com6 where the arduino is plugged in and at a baud rate of 9600 then this is a variable we make for the recognizer and now here is my list of keywords it's only four keywords right now thank hello goodbye and welcome uh, all right so over here we do with microphone as source it says first it calibrates so i print please wait calibrating microphone so like let me show you that for a second over here when we run it, it says please wait calibrating microphone and then after that it starts listening for audio so let me close that and then it calibrates it by the function adjust for ambient noise and the source and the duration of five seconds and then after that it prints listening and now here i've made a for loop for i in range one to ten so ten iterations it defines audio as what it hears and then this is just like the try if you're getting confused is just a way so that if there are any errors it can raise that with another thing down below which I will show you so first it does string equals r dot recognize google audio so r dot recognize google is using the open source google library to recognize the audio and then we have a string and then it splits it so that we have separate words and now we make another for loop for i in range len list speech so it looks for um, uh, it looks through all the words that it found and if the one of if like on the ith iteration that word is in our keywords list then we do keywords found this is just on the desktop and we show that and now if the uh, keyword is thank we send a one on the serial port if it's hello, we send a two. If it's goodbye, we send a three. If it's welcome, we send a four. So that's that, sending it. And now over here, we just have a few necessary things that you have to do when using this. So if it's an unknown value error, you write audio couldn't be understood. Or otherwise, if it's not working, then you write Google error. So now I'll be showing you the Arduino code. Alright, so here is the Arduino code. First, we include this library and we define OLED reset as pin 4 and we do this display. And now we have a car, char, whatever keyword. And then now we have the images in CPP format. So when using the OLED with Arduino, you cannot use like JPEGs directly. So you have to convert it into CPP format, which I did using an online source. So this is all the pixel data like that and we have this for all four images so let me scroll down 
And now in the void setup, we begin the serial monitor, the serial port at baud baud rate of 9600, so that it can communicate with the Python code. Then we initialize the display with 0 by 3 c that just is the characterization of the OLED and SSD 10306 and then we set the display color to white so because it's monochrome and now here I have these functions that I've made for each of them so draw bitmap thank it draws a, that uh, image at 128 by 52 that's the resolution of the image and the image thank and now here we have the image hello goodbye and welcome and now in my void loop we have first it checks if there is anything at the serial port and that's the function serial.available so if there is anything like if serial.available is greater than zero then we have keyword equals serial.read so the thing that the python code sent which is either one two three or four like i just showed you so if that's one then it clears the display and it draws thank the bitmap for thank you and then that's just to update it a delay of one second and then clear it again and you update it and you do the same thing for all of the keywords like that let me show you and yeah that's about it so yeah that's my project for google science fair and yeah that's all for today thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video